let us investigate these patterns. We have a sequence of figures, and the figures contain triangles of the same size. Figure 1, 2, and 3, we have to draw the fourth figure. So let us look for a pattern here that can help us to draw the fourth figure. I see one triangle at the bottom, followed by two triangles below, followed by three triangles below. So I assume I'm supposed to write four triangles. I'm supposed to draw four triangles below since one, two, three is followed by four. So I'll do that. Now I'm seeing one triangle above here and then two triangles. So I assume I'm supposed to draw three triangles on top here. So I will go ahead and do that. And then if 4 is below, 3 is on top, I assume that now 2 triangles must be here. Followed by one final triangle on top. Okay, so there's one final triangle on top. So the diagram is not perfect because all the triangles are supposed to be the same size. But you can make the necessary adjustments when you are drawing it. So let's fill out the columns in this table by following the patterns. So we have drawn figure 4, FIG4 in the sequence. Let us now fill out the information for figure 4. Number of unit triangles is the number of small triangles that make up the figure. So we will count how many triangles we have. Count them 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 16 triangles. So let's try that. 16, 1, 6. Now let us follow our pattern here now. Let's look at these three expressions i'm circling them in blue let's look for the constants so two is always constant two is always the same so we know that we have to write a two underneath here okay now three is always the same three doesn't change so we know that we have to do a bracket with a three here All right the last one this last one is the same in all the brackets. So we know we have to put our one here, a plus sign, and then the other one is changing. One, two, three. So we have to put our four here. So we'll times by four. This is our variable that's changing. And the other number in this bracket. 1, 2, 3, we have to put we have to put a 4 right here okay so that's what we have and then we work this out see what we get 3, 4 is at 12 4 plus 1 is 5 12, 5 is at 60 60, we will have 12 times 5 over 2 that's what we got, 60 over 2 which ends up, this ends up being 30, 3, 0. So we have filled out column 1. Remember that only these numbers are really changing. They are always the same. And they change from figure to figure.
Okay, so let us work out the next one, 144. Now we have to find out what is the relationship between this number and this number. Is there a relationship? Is there a relationship between the 3 and the 9? And the 2 and the 4? Yes, there is a relationship because 4 times 4 is 16 and 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. So we are saying when we square the number on top, we will get the number below. So 4 squared is equal to 16, 3 squared is equal to 9, and so on. So to get the number on top here, by the green dot, we have to find the square root of 144, which is 12. Okay, now we use our formula, remember the 12, we have to know what we put in the 12 now, it will be 3 times 12 by 12 plus 1 over 2, right, the 12 comes in these two positions, this number will go in these two positions. Let us continue now. That is equal to 12 trees are 36 times 12 plus 1 is 13 over 2. We divide. We could use our calculator here. So let's do that 36 times 13 over 2. Two zero three four. Okay. That's the answer for the fourth column. Let's look at 25 now. We know we have to find 25 to the power 2 here. But we are squaring. We get 625. Then we input that, this 25, into our equation. So we'll have 3 times 25. By right? 25 plus 1. All over 2. Okay. And we work this out. 3 times 25 times 26 over 2. That will result in 75 times 26 divided by 2, which is 975. Okay, so let's go back and double check our answer for the fourth one. 36 times 13 divided by 2, 234. So I made an error before. This number is supposed to be 234. Remember when we are dealing with patterns, Things are supposed to move in a logical way, so each number is supposed to be greater than the other one. So that's how I detected my mistake in the previous answer. The previous one was supposed to be less than 975. Let's look at the end now. This is what we are trying to do. We are trying to develop a formula, a general statement that can be used to find the number of unit triangles and the number of unit sides for any figure. So now that we have the n here, we are squaring the n, so we'll write n squared. And for this answer, our formula will be 3 times n times n plus 1 all over 2. Okay, this is our answer, 3 times n times n plus 1 all over 2. Thanks for watching.